today, the Google Meet Room has gotten even more powerful with the ability to join cross-platform meetings. So let's have a look. Hi, I'm Craig Ishii, Product Marketing with Logitech. Today, we're gonna to talk about the concept of interoperability with a Google Meet Room. Now, the reality is that most of our employees are juggling a variety of different video conference platforms. So companies may choose a platform like Google Meet to use organization-wide, which means that the rooms are also provisioned as Google Meet Rooms. But what happens if I've got a meeting, say, on WebEx or Zoom? Now, with the Google Meet Interop capability, also known as Direct Guest Join, your users can access meetings on Zoom or WebEx, all from within the in-room interface. So we're going to jump into this conference room right over here, and we're going to see how it works. OK, so we're here in a Google Meet room, and we're outfitted with a rally bar and a tap IP meeting controller. Now, this is where the first important callout is. This is a room that I've set up in appliance mode, where the rally bar is acting as the in-room compute system. Now, this is an announcement that we made several months back where we introduced the availability of Google Meet on Android. So that means that IT teams can set up Google Meet rooms without needing a separate dedicated in-room computer. And this can be done for Rally Bar, for Rally Bar Mini, and for Rally Bar Huddle now. But also important to call out here is that the interop functionality that we're talking about today is also available on Chrome OS setups where you have a dedicated compute like the CTL Meet Compute Box. So let's just take a quick look at the tap here. All I need to do is click the Join or Start Meeting. And then here you can see I've got a drop-down menu here on the top left. So if I press that, you can see that I'm given other options of other platforms to join. So I can choose to meet on Google Meet, on WebEx, or on Zoom. So I'm just going to press Zoom here, and then I'm going to enter my meeting credentials. So just give me a minute to do that. OK, so now you can see I'm in my Zoom meeting, and the meeting controller is still providing me with some helpful information and tools. So I can still toggle my camera, my mute, my volume, and again, there's some helpful information here as well. So that's basically it. If you're an IT team managing a Google Meet environment, whether on an Android-based or Chrome OS-based deployment, now you can give your users the flexibility to join other platforms as needed. That's it. We'll see you next time.